Well, it's Saturday morning and I am about to give away the secret of Crockett's Breakfast Camp's pancakes. I was in Food City yesterday and we're trying to come up with new ideas for cooking videos, some new recipes and everything that you guys may like. I love Crockett's pancakes. They're the greatest. So as we were standing in the grocery store, I was like, well, I'm going to look this up and see how to make them. It was staring me right in the face the whole time. Right there, Aretha. Frankenstein's pancake mix. Apparently it ain't much of a secret. They actually advertise it on their little menu thing that looks like a newspaper. Let's try this. It says stick directly to, look right here. It says stick to the exact formula that they've laid out. It says don't substitute anything. So just for general purposes of trying to see if this tastes the same, I'm actually gonna use the canola oil I normally don't like this, but just for the, to sift this is Crockett's pancakes, we're gonna do it exactly the way they said. Come with me. So apparently for about eight pancakes, you need uh, one and three fourths cup of mix. Right there. You need one egg. One and a half cups of buttermilk. Fourth a cup of the corn oil. What is a fourth of a cup on this thing? It's right there, maybe. When I seen these, I was like, are you kidding me? I've been driving all the way to Gatlinburg to get these delicious pancakes when I could be making them right in the comfort of my own home. So let's see if this actually pans out just like Crockett's. Cause trust me, we go there every time and we have been for a very long time. So I know what these pancakes taste like and I'll definitely let you know for sure. Did I mention after this, I'm gonna show you how we make our soup beans too. I figured what a better way to come back is some good pancakes and some good soup beans, good country meal. Let's get this breakfast done first. Go ahead and start throwing a little sauce. And we're gonna go ahead and throw these hash browns on here somewhere too. You're gonna need you a pancake ring. Just fill that ring up. Now I'm gonna make some little ones for the kids. Like I said, I am just testing this. I seen that these are the pancakes, so I wanna crock its breakfast without going to Gatlinburg, y'all. One thing I can tell you for sure, they are fluffing up healthy just like Crockett's. There's one ring off. Time for the eggs. Kids are gonna love this breakfast. They're gonna feel like they're back on vacation. I can tell you this, that's a cutting board full of food though. <laughs> what do you think about that big pile of food? Looks good. That looks like what Crockett's would serve it to you too, and it's just a big old pile. Big old skillet. Then you just top it off with some organic maple syrup. Does that look like a good breakfast? Try to me a pancake. I'm gonna do belly. No, that's deep. That's hash browns and ketchup. That's your sausage. Do they taste like Crockett's pancakes? One hundred percent. We'll see. Relax. Let me see. Oh my God! Duh. One hundred percent. Same Score. pancake. Score because that 
It's my favorite place ever to get pancakes. The pancake. The pancake. Is it good? Pancake Does it taste like vacation pancakes? Mmm, mm, so good. So now, if you want to try the famous Crockett's Breakfast Camp pancakes that you see all the time, it's Aretha Frankenstein's pancake mix. Who would have knew? But yes, it's delicious. But we're going to eat some breakfast, and then I'm going to get these soup beans started for tonight. So was it a good breakfast? Yeah, it was. Was it a win? It was a win, for sure. Chloe had two pancakes, so that tells you something. Hit the spot. All right. It's a spot. Hit the spot. Good breakfast. Good breakfast. All right. Now that breakfast is done, it's time to get supper started. I know that sounds weird, but here we go. It doesn't sound weird because it's got to be in the crock pot for six hours. So it's not weird. It's just the way we got to do it. It's time for me to show you how we do our soup beans around this place. Get your crock pot. Get you some salted pork. Listen, something's got to be done about these Pioneer knives. They're horrible. I know. Go ahead and throw you some salt pork right in the bottom of your crock pot. About six, seven pieces. Now, I started this last night. I soaked my beans overnight. I always do. I put a little salt in them and put them in the fridge and let them soak. That kind of speeds the cooking time up a little bit. Just throw you soaked beans right in there. And folks, please make sure you wash your soup beans. It's probably one of the dirtiest beans on the planet, so make sure you, you get it clean. Now, we're gonna take these pork chops. Throw them right on the top in there. I will not cook with city tap water. You wanna cover the beans with water. Now you may have to check on these from time to time through the day. Add you some salt. Add you some pepper. Add you a half a stick of butter. Turn your crock pot on high. Put your lid on it. A few hours, this will be ready. Oh my goodness, what happened? What happened to you all? What was you going to tell Daddy? He's got my arm. I see your arm. Oh, she stomped off and she said, um, I'm telling Daddy because I made them stop painting because she started painting their arms and legs um, and face. Daddy, come on! What? I picked the house. Looks like you painted more in the house, little girl. You painted your arms, yes. Did Sissy get a hold of you too? Well, I see Bubba's glasses. Well, you might have got a little more paint on the house than you did yourself. So, can I ask you a question? Whose idea was it to paint the house? And paint Chloe and Bubba, who painted you? <laughs> what? I painted the point. Look at you, we'll never scrub you clean. Or seagull. Look how my painted the You painted the bell, too. You heard Popsicle, didn't you? You are a whole kind of mess. You're a mess. That happened very quickly. Okay. The house lasted about 20 minutes, then they started painting each other. And you want to paint these bird houses in the house? Well, it, it would be a little more controlled. You think we're so? We're sitting at the table you and hope. we're painting. It sounds good on paper. Let's check those beans.
Okay, you guys, don't mind the green paint in my hair or on my arms. You seen the kids, we decided to paint their playhouse today. You guys might be seeing a lot more of Sean in this vlog and the one before because I unfortunately came home from vacation with a cold again. Thankfully, it's just me. I mean, we've been home now six days and everybody else is fine just seems to be me, which is great uh, for everybody else. <laughs> and mama too, because you know, it's hard taking care of two toddler toddlers when you are sick yourself. I appreciate you, honey, for ma uh, massively picking up these vlogs for the last few days. I am, I tell you, we had that flu. I went like 15 years and not even a cold. And we got that flu A in November last year. Man, it is just like it ravaged my immune system. So, Sean got me some stuff, me and the kids. And we are going to be taking uh, immune supplements every single day for a long time. He got me the uh, the emergency, you know what I'm talking about? Like the stuff used to drink. I think they used to have chew tablets and stuff. Got loads of vitamin C in it, vitamin D3, magnesium. So on top of my regular vitamins, I'm going to be taking that too. Sean is bathing the kids and washing the paint off of them. If you hear the noise in the background. Ma'am, do you feel better? You feel good and clean? She wants to see the soup beans. It's soup beans. It's supper. It's bye bites. Mm, they've been Good. cooking all day. That's hot though. Don't touch it. Hey, do you feel clean? Mommy, uh oh. Clean. Clean. <laughs> oh. All right, you need your glasses. Let's go get your glasses and put on. I appreciate you taking over the load the last few days. Well, I figured out I got to do something with my outdoor kitchen up there. How in the world did we go from me saying, Thanks well, I was for taking just, the load off, and he says, I was thinking about the. The breakfast I cooked up earlier this morning, and I was just like, these little signage and stuff, little, little bit great. It does, I agree. I was gonna show you guys, while I'm feeling okay for the moment, I got, it's called burnt cinnamon to change the, and me and Sean agreed, that's never the color he was going for. I done it because if I didn't do it, she would have never went outside this of color. that. This color. Well, you would have never, you didn't want to do the accent one. But that is the color you were going to get. So I had to make it extreme and just do it so it'd get done. I searched the color out and I sent it to him and he was like, yes, that was the color I was going for. I was hey, like, all right, uh, I'll get it. We talked, it only took like a couple days for that walls to actually grow on you though yeah this is like right now it probably looks yellow it does it's wait, not wait, wait. it's actually a warm peach but it looks good on camera look at it. it does look good on camera but in the evenings after the sun goes down you can really see the hue change it turn it's a warm peach that's what it is see these flowers in this painting or picture is peach and it matches the wall perfect. It does look yellow during the daytime when the sun's out. But like I said, after the sun goes down, it is completely warm peach. And at night when it's dark and we just got the lamps on and stuff, it's absolutely warm peach. So I do like it, it has grown on me. But I got this as a sample from the same company. We've decided it's called Bone. That's what we're gonna do the cabinets in. Is it gonna clash with our appliances? Yes, it is, but. We are using those appliances until they tear up and fall apart. This refrigerator right here keeps like our drinks icy, icy cold. Yeah. Like this is a good refrigerator. Why, if it's not broke, why fix it? Cause the ones they make today is made for five years. Yeah. And you gotta get a new one. We've talked about maybe putting, ordering the vinyl. Uh, I think even Lowe's has it. You can actually do stainless steel looking vinyl too. We've talked about doing that. But there's no reason to replace these. In our minds, that's just crazy. They work perfectly. This, can we talk about the stove? Like this stove preheats like that. Yeah, it like, does. It Five doesn't minutes. take no time. The stove we had before, <coughs> it took a long time for it to preheat. This literally will be to three or four twenty-five in like a couple minutes. Wait, wait a minute. I'll keep it. Wait a minute. Like, I spotted something. Hey, hey. Is that you could? Do you know that chicken was up there? Are they going to start multiplying? <laughs> Maybe. I didn't know. That's also up there too now. Well, where'd the little pumpkins poop out from? Like this is the tiniest little pumpkin. Amazon, that's my salt and pepper shaker, you guys. Look at it. Got a little wagon, got a little hay in there. And that is my butter holder. Oh. 
It's so cute. Now these beans look like they are getting to the done stage. Time for the cornbread. I literally thought I had three rivers cornmeal. I don't know where it is. Buttermilk, flour, meal, and an egg. I know someone's gonna be asking for direct measurements. I don't know. Here's how I do it. One, two, cornmeal. One, self-rising flour. Add some salt. Now what you're gonna do is add a little buttermilk at a time. You wanna get to a pancake-like consistency. Oh, if it ain't close, Add more buttermilk. Yes, darling. you make cake. I'm making cornbread. No. Yeah. I see it. See that cornbread. Right there is about what you want. Now you gotta prepare your pan to make it. I can't find my cornbread skillet. Some of you people use corn oil. I use lard. You want to get this all melted and get that just as hot as you'll go. Because you want to fry this cornbread when you first put it in there. Just let that sit there and sizzle for a minute. Make sure you got your stove preheated to 450 degrees, ready to go. And then just take it off the stove. Pop it in the oven. And you wait. There's the cornbread. Mm -hmm. I had to rush it out. I forgot to film because some one ace of burning the now bottom. The it's close, but that's we ready to go. See There's the cornbread. Are you hungry? I see it. Don't you see it? It's laying there. Oh. Yeah, you want some bite bites? Yes, I want bite. Bubba, you ready for bite bites? Okay. All right, we gotta get you, mommy. I see you broke another one of my balls. Mm. Don't burn me. Yum, 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 yum. Now, here's what you do with all this. I got my pork chop there. Got my cornbread here. Mm. You need salt. Really quick. I was going to do fried taters, but you know what? We only had one tater, and I didn't feel like going back to the store. And there you have it. That's what you call Appalachian soup beans. Mm. That's country eating there. I wish we had the potatoes. But that's what it is. That's what it is. You eating beans? Ew. Ew. I eat the beans. You gonna eat the beans? Are they nummy? Sissy's gonna eat the beans. Bubba's just not sure.